So I guess we're just <laughs> low on hunt right here. Wanna, I mean, just tell me how gratifying it is to go out there and uh, have your second career what 100 plus yard rushing game first uh, since your freshman year. Um, it, it it feels good, you know. Uh, I couldn't do this without God. I give all glory to God and um, just my preparation and my own line. I couldn't have done it on my own line. And uh, just uh, the play calling, and, uh, Coach Yost got me the right plays, and I just executed them. How tough was it after that fumble last week? How hard did you take that? Um, I, I took it very hard because, you know, that was that was my second second fumble in uh, four years. And uh, the coaches, they rely on me, um, trustworthy, because they know I don't have – that's not a factor, and when they when they think about me, they trust me. But um, initially, I took it hard for the first couple of days, but then I knew that my attitude being sad and being down was not going to help my team. So uh, I just forgot about it, and I, I moved on. and And look, look, look at this game. This game, to me, was a prime example of how much easier it is to run the football when you establish your passing game. And how much did it help to loosen up their secondary today? Um, yeah, it's like it's, it, they go hand in hand. If you can pass the ball, then that's going to thin out the box because they're, they're worried about um, uh, the passing. And then when, when we're able to run the ball, then they're going to uh, stack the box and then we can sh uh, sh throw shots and go to the field. So I, I feel like they're just complimentary and we just executed uh, on, all, on all cylinders and offense this, this game. Three touchdowns. Um, that's probably career high. I don't, it I don't is. know. Career high, three <laughs> touchdowns. How good was it to bounce back like that, I guess? Um, I, I kind of had a – I was just hungry and had a chip on my shoulder because, like I said, that fumble last week, it, it really got to me, man. Like, it really had me. And so I, I just had a mindset that this game, I'm just, I had a rebound and go, just go ten times harder, and um, that's exactly what I did. Uh, I, was just, I was just out there just playing football, man, having fun, just reading, reading holes, being patient, and just hitting them, you know. Savon Scarver. Okay. The first thing I'm curious about is: Were you recruited by UNLV, and if not, uh, how much motivated, how much motivation did that give you heading into this game? Uh, yeah, I was recruited by them. Uh, you know, it gave me a little bit of motivation. I just know that I'm coming home. You know, I just wanted to play good in front of my friends and family. You know, getting my first touchdown of the season, it felt really good. So did they did they offer you a scholarship? Oh, yes, they sir. Did. Okay. That, that deep pass, it looked like maybe it was too far thrown, but you obviously turned on the burners. What was that like? Just I just seen uh, my quarterback threw it. He threw a great ball. Just give me time to run under it. So I just stuck my head down and ran, laid out for it, just got it. I mean, you clearly bounced back after that fumble. You made some big plays and all aspects. I mean, that block, I'm I can think of that block that sprung the one on that third and long. Just uh, how motivated were you to kind of make amends for that fumble? Uh, when I when I fumbled, it just it just made me feel bad because putting my team in a bad position just hurts me. You know, I don't you never want to do that. So I knew I had to play better, and my teammates were picking me up on the sideline, so they just helped me helped me get back to what I could do. You know, start playing good. Do you feel like on special teams and on offense, things are starting to click? You're starting to figure things out now from the first of the year. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's everything. It's my first year, so you know I'm still trying to get the feel of things, you know. But uh, I just keep working in practice. My coaches are great, so they're getting me better. So I feel good about that. I mean, this game had to be really gratifying. The only thing you kind of guys have kind of been lacking in special teams this year is busting out a long return. You did that both in the punt game and the kickoff game. So how much does that mean to this team to? to break out with those long returns? Uh, that, that first one that I broke on it, it felt good because, uh, you know, we've we been, we been getting to the 25 to 30 all year, but breaking out for that first long one just sets the tone for the rest of the year. So now we got to just keep doing that, you know? Else this game on? extra special being at, being at home, I guess, in front of all these? Yeah, it, it feels really good. Yeah. You know, just all my friends and family are here. So, you know, that love and support just, just makes you want to play amazing, you know? All right. Oh, talk about Jordan, Jordan Love's performance, I guess. Uh, Jordan, he played really good, you know. Um, he's been working. We've all been working in practice. we got good coaches just staying on us, uh, working on the little things, you know, and just staying focused in the game. And he's making great throws. Uh, everybody played good tonight. Uh, O-line, defense, everybody. I'm just proud of everybody right now. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Jordan, first career start. How different is it coming in, start the game, instead of coming in you know, in the middle of the game? The uh, only difference is you don't know what the defense is going to do, really. I mean, just from watching film the week before, but a little bit different. So. We had a couple of drives at the beginning of the game that kind of stalled a little bit in the field. Then you had the deep pass to Scarborough. What was it feeling like just kind of getting that kind of metaphorical monkey on your shoulder getting that first touchdown? Oh, it was a great feeling. Um, just seeing him run down the field, knowing he's going to score, it's a great feeling because, you know, that's really our first touchdown, I think. Um, so finally breaking the chain, really, finally getting a score on the board is a great feeling. How long ago did you know that you're going to be starting tonight? Uh, beginning of the week, let me know. So. I mean, how does it feel to become the first uh, quarterback since Chucky Keaton to throw for more than 200 yards and your first career start. He was the last guy to throw for more than 200 in his first career start. How does that feel to be in that kind of company? Uh, it's a great feeling. Uh, being in the same category as Chucky, I mean, he's a great player. So whenever your name's in a category with him, it's a great feeling. You guys have kind of proven yourself to be a pretty resilient team. 3-1 and one coming off the loss now this season. You had the crushing loss to Wyoming last week. Uh, how is this team able to kind of rebound from those mishaps, those kind of shortcomings, and be able to put on a performance like that tonight? Oh, with a game like Wyoming last week, I mean, we just knew we had to come together, and we knew we had to get a win. Um, just, get, I think it's all in the game plan the coaches make for us. Um, we know exactly what they're going to do, so I mean, um, just it's all about heart and effort. So. Going into next week, tough battle against Boise State. How much, I guess, uh, confidence do you guys have going into that game? Um, coming off a win like this, we got a lot of confidence, but we know we got to go into practice and uh, just grind it every day and uh, get ready for them because they're a good team. So. And with that Boise game, 2015, was that during your recruitment at all? The 2015 game versus Boise State? Yeah. yeah. Did that have any effect on, you know, like, on your like, perception of Utah State as a program? Like seeing them put on that show on Boise State. Oh yeah, when they won that game, I was like, man, I'm excited to be there. Like, that was just a little uh, taste of what it's gonna be like when I got here. So that was a great, great game to watch. So. Appreciate you. What, what was the biggest key to you guys? Uh, um, Getting it together defensively and playing so much better from the middle of the second quarter on. Um, I just think that uh, you know, we might have been trying to do too much up front, um, slanting, and they were doing a really good job of walling us off, and they were just hitting creases. Uh, I think our D line, you know, just asked to have more simple fronts and um, not as much movement, and they did exactly what they said that they were going to do, and we shut them out in the second half. It's kind of one of those first uh, kind of inter interceptions that you, or. Uh, turnover, you, turnovers you, get, you guys have gotten in the, in the uh, red zone, how important was it to kind of finish, that, finish the game out? Yeah, you know, anytime you get a turnover in the red zone, it's a big deal. Um, I can't remember exactly what the score was at that point, but if they had gone in a score, I think it would have put it within one or two scores. Um, so I think it was, it, you know, it was, it was big play in a big moment. Um, but, you know, it was just, just doing my job and doing exactly what I was asked to do. Great team win down. Uh, how much were you guys energized by the offense when they started um, converting those big plays in the second quarter? Yeah, it, it was huge for us. Our offense did a great job. Um, honestly, it was kind of just like, even if we hold them to a field goal, our offense is going to go score, and that's a you know it was a great feeling to have a lot of confidence in us. And um, you know, we were, offense was carrying us in the first half, and then we came out and play, finally played as a team. Team's been fantastic defensively in the second half of games this season, especially. I mean, tonight shut them out in the second half. What's the difference between the first and second half for you guys? Um, you know, I, I don't think it's an issue of coming out and playing hard or playing fast or getting off to a fast start. Um, I think a lot of it just has to do with our coaching staff making great adjustments at halftime and guys figuring out exactly where we're getting hit and doing their job and stopping it. You guys had a couple injuries tonight. You had Jalen Davis, of course, went out early. But then you had Cameron Haney step, Haney step up. And then Haney went down. And then you had guys like Cornberry stepped up. Of course, Sean Marcus Ingram has been stepping up all season. Of course, you. What's it? What's like the pride level of the secondary, the secondary to have guys go down with injuries? 
all throughout the season, how guys step up and still be the most players like this? Yeah, you know, Coach Juice talks about it all the time. It's, uh, you know, it's next man up kind of deal, and uh, we all trust each other a ton in there. We really have a great connection in there as the DB group. Um, the secondary is very deep, as you guys can see, and, and that's what we're built for. We're built for somebody to go down and step up. If that means we roll the safety down and play nickel, then that's what we do. And we got guys who can do that, and safeties can come in and roll over the top. How much deeper do you feel you guys are defensively than you were a year ago? <laughs> a lot. You know, a lot more experience, a lot more guys that have played a lot of ball and a lot of guys who have um, made plays in games. And I think that's really what it comes down to is um, making plays in games and getting that confidence. And we've had a lot of guys do that, and I think it's just going to get really getting the ball rolling from here. Appreciate it, Alan. Thanks. Was ready? Yeah. Okay, far away. Well, I mean, this is your second uh, time this season you guys have overcome two touchdown deficits. Uh, I mean, how much is that helping you guys make those strides as a program? Well, you're going to gain confidence uh, as a team anytime you can do that. I would rather not get down by two touchdowns. But uh, the demeanor on the sidelines was excellent. The demeanor at, at halftime was really good. Um, and I think, you know, the, the offense do – without coaches having to tell them the offense knew that we were the ones hurting ourselves in the first half with the two turnovers that led to two touchdowns and um, and then we quite frankly we were horrible in run defense um, in the first half and um, really challenged those guys and challenged their heart and their character and um, everything that goes with it and I thought they obviously responded with the shutout in the second half so it was a great job by the defense in the second half. Is this just is this a learning experience? I mean, guys went down with injuries. Obviously, the defense gave them a couple of scores. Um, I guess it kind of just shows you need you need all your guys and you need your depth and uh, and bounce back. Right? I think I think tonight what you saw is depth. I think you see a little bit of a different side of this program than you maybe seen the last couple of years. You saw a lot of new guys. I mean, we lose our top two players on offense mm -hmm. and defense, arguably early, really early. And then we have a few other guys get nicked up, some out. Um, you saw a lot of freshmen, redshirt freshmen, a lot of guys in the last recruiting class playing. I think it does show depth, and I'm proud of those guys. And I think those guys will gain some confidence by going in and helping our team to, to win a game in the second half. Because and that when they were playing, the game was in in the ballots or whatever you say. You know, the game was a contested ball game. Any update on any of the injuries or anything a couple of head injuries obviously they're hard to tell but yeah we'll see is tarver a non yeah head he, injury? correct and i think right. uh, my initial what the docs just told me is i think i see everybody being back next week okay. hopefully you had the rushing game like really took off in this game what's been the secret to getting that ground game going and why has it been kind of inconsistent in a lot of games this season if i knew that we would be better than four and four <laughs> Fair enough. We would have rushed it better. Um, it's a combination of playing good teams, not us not playing as well. I thought Lawan really ran hard, but I think you know when our offensive line, um, you know, if looking in their eye and, and seeing their demeanor late in the third quarter, um, early in the fourth quarter, they they just they kind of said, I apologize, put the game on our shoulders, put it on our back, and when they're coming off vertical. And they're lathered up, and I mean they were they were ready for the challenge. Um, I thought all those backs ran pretty good behind them, and we played with some pace and got rolling. And you know I'm, I'm not sure they didn't get a little tired, and um, our guys gained some momentum and gained some confidence as the game went on. It's kind of just a role reversal. I mean, were you just planning on putting Myers in there in the second quarter? That was absolutely because that was right after a yep. touchdown pass. But. Yep, yep, and then he goes in and takes them all the way down for another score. Yeah, we planned that early in the week. Yeah. So those kids knew that, and that was going to be the plan. They knew that on Monday. Your thoughts on Jordan Love and his first thought he was really game. calm. He was calm, almost too calm. I'm like, is there anything? I mean, we got, you know, um, he handled a lot of stuff really good. And, you know, um, we put a lot of stuff on his plate as a redshirt freshman, really starting on the road for the first time in terms of check with me's and audibles. And he checked a lot of stuff. And uh, I thought he handled it excellent. We changed a couple things in the third quarter. He handled it excellent. He had a great look in his eye, and and um, we protected him too. I thought the O line did a great job of protecting him tonight. UNLV's defense seemed 
pretty vanilla. Do you think it'll be kind of a nut at the next step is in his progression against Boise, who probably won't be vanilla? Well, Boise State is excellent. Um, every next game right now for Jordan is going to be the next. You know, now he's got to go face, come off a win, and feel good about himself, and all you guys are going to write great things about him. Logan, you may even have to this week. I will. <laughs> okay, we're all going to keep an eye on your articles this week. Um, you have the right to write over whatever you want. And um, kind of handle some success and then go into, you know, yeah. what I think will be a, a rowdy stadium and a loud crowd and obviously a great atmosphere for when Boise State comes to town. And it will be a next step for not only him but for all of us. And kind of with love, you can want to see your quarterback really progressing from week to week. So what's something specifically that he improved on this past week and what do you want him to improve on this coming week as you prepare for Boise? Um, that's a good question. I can't think of anything technical right now without watching the tape. Really this week, the biggest step for him this week is handling the whole package, um, preparing to be a starter. It's different. I've been there, and I've been where Ken is, and I've been where Jordan is. And um, just handling your – I mean, when we start a walkthrough, he's the first one out. And it's I'm not the backup anymore, and everybody's looking to me. So I think that was the biggest thing that he had to handle. Um, and now it's going to be what I was just saying to Isaac is – moving into week two and, and taking another step. Now, we'll find some technical stuff that he can improve on, but I think the biggest thing that Jordan did was just kind of learn how to handle himself and, and prepare to be the starter because it's a completely different ballgame. Matt, one thing that just really stuck out to me tonight, I thought your wide receivers made huge strides as a unit, not only catching the ball but blocking downfield. That one drive you threw two pretty hellacious blocks to spring big plays. Uh, I mean, how much... Yeah. Did they grow up I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up because you know we're down a couple. Oh, yeah. And um, for those guys to really step up, whether it was Van Lewin and we bounced back from that holding penalty. Uh, I saw G Bright uh, make some good blocks on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Bonds is fighting his little bitty tail off. <laughs> you know, Braylon's playing good. And then you got Dax Raymond who's the best tight end in the Mountain West. And I, I'm just proud of those guys. You know, we were down a tight end today. I mean, think about how many guys we were down. That's why I'm so proud of this team for a win on the road tonight. When our backs are against the wall, we needed it. Uh, we did it without a lot of players that have been playing key roles. Carson Terrell didn't suit up tonight, you know, and uh, the other guys that we've talked about. So I'm proud of some of these guys stepping up. Was that a hard decision to go with love? Was it easy? All decisions are hard because you think of um, – how it affects the team, how it affects each individual. Um, every decision I make, I don't know if any of them are ever no-brainers. Um, it is a hard decision. Um, and um, Coach Yost and I made it, and we're going to stick with that right now. So, The other thing that stood out to me is uh, the only thing that's really been lacking in special teams this year is breaking out, busting out that big return. You know, we I got both of that yeah, today. You know, I just talked about that on the radio. That was that really the punt return by Jordan Nathan. And a couple of the kickoff returns by Savon is something that we haven't had much this year. Now, first of all, uh, I heard Coach Tomerdahl say we sucked on kickoff return. He was Press absolutely conference. spot on. That's a very generous, very nice way to say it because I think it's worse than that. And we actually showed up tonight and did a little bit something on kickoff return, so that was nice. The punt return game, I'm not going to fault that because right nowadays in college football with junk punters and punters with uh, the lights are going out in Vegas, um, punters with hang time, you're not going to get many returns. It's just all of college football, especially as much as we pressure the punter. And so I, we hadn't even, Jordan hadn't really had very many opportunities to do what he did. And I gave him a game ball. I thought I thought those punt returns really ignited the whole bench and, and both sides of the ball. Jordan honestly has been pretty solid this year in punt returns. He's been very solid. I mean, he's been a solid player on offense and on special teams. The team's also been very resilient this year. You guys have Three and one now coming off a loss, and then last week Wyoming was a crushing, crushing defeat at home. What's it mean to you to have this team be able to respond to adversity like that, be able to put on a performance like tonight? Really, really proud of our guys. I think they showed their character. I thought they showed resiliency, and I can't say enough about the guys that really stepped up with some injuries, some guys that had to stay home. And this is the point in the year where some of this stuff. I mean, we haven't had a bye week yet, and we got two more weeks, and we got to keep practicing, and we got to two really tough games before we even get to a bye week. And that, to me, is the essence of team. And it's the essence of this logo. And playing for this logo and not for yourself. And we, I, I, 
I can't wait to watch some of these guys the way they act on Monday and Tuesday when they come into the building and practice because we had some young young puppies really grow up and played some key roles in a, in a pivotal game that was tight until, you know, towards the middle of the end of the fourth quarter. Um, turnovers in this game, they, they got two and turned it into 14 points, yeah. and then it seemed like it kind of got fixed. Well, yeah, we stopped ourselves early, just two fumbles, lackadaisical, carrying the ball wrong. We, we work on ball security probably more than anybody. I mean, it just was lack of focus, lack of, very lackadaisical. Next week, you have Boise State at home. I don't think we need a reminder what happened last time. Boise State was in Logan. But can you talk a little bit about what that game was like, being on the sidelines, following a game that, like, what did that mean anything, like, different than maybe a different, just a regular game? Well, I, I've got so much respect for Boise. You guys know what I say it all the time. The road to the Mountain West Championship goes through Boise. And so beating them at home for the first time in whatever, that's what it really meant because I, I have such great respect for the program and where they're at. And, um, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. Good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all coming down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.